Hello and welcome to Amazing Aircraft. In this video, we have a special treat for you. We will take a closer look at the Saab 340 Airborne Early Warning and Control, a Swedish Airborne Early Warning and Control aircraft that is currently in service with the Swedish Air Force and the Royal Thai Air Force. This aircraft is based on the Saab 340, a twin-engine turboprop airliner first flown in 1983 and used for various civilian and military purposes. But the Saab 340 AEW and C is so unique and impressive that the Eerie radar system is mounted on top of the fuselage. This radar system can detect and track air and sea targets at long ranges and provide the operators and commanders with comprehensive situational awareness. We will explore the history, design, and performance of one of the world's most advanced and versatile airborne early warning and control aircraft. So, are you ready to dive into its story? Then buckle up, and let's go! One of the most distinctive features of the Saab 340 AEW and C is the Eerie radar system that is mounted on top of the fuselage. This radar system is a key component of the Airborne Early Warning and Control mission, which provides a comprehensive picture of the air and sea situation and supports the command and control of friendly forces. But how does the Eerie radar work, and what makes it different from other AEW and C radars? The Eerie radar is an active electronically scanned array radar. It uses many small antennas to form a beam of radio waves that can be steered electronically. This allows the radar to scan a large area quickly and accurately without moving mechanical parts. The Eerie radar operates in the S-band, which gives it better penetration and resistance to clutter than the X-band radars used by most other AEW and C aircraft, but at the cost of lower range and sensitivity. However, it also makes it more vulnerable to detection and jamming by enemy forces. The Eerie radar is mounted on a dorsal beam that extends from the wing route to the tail cone of the aircraft. The radar has a 120-degree scan angle on each aircraft side, covering 240 degrees. This means a dead zone is directly behind and in front of the plane, where the radar cannot see. To compensate for this, the Saab 340 AEW and C can use data links to share information with other aircraft or ground stations or use its secondary radar and infrared sensors to detect targets and blind spots. The Eerie radar can detect and track air targets with an RCS of 2 square meters at a range of 300 kilometers, and sea targets with an RCS of 500 square meters at a range of 400 kilometers, while the aircraft is flying at an altitude of 6,100 meters and a broadside aspect. The radar can also perform air-to-air -air and air-to-ground modes, such as identification friend or foe, electronic support measures, and synthetic aperture radar. The radar can simultaneously track up to 200 targets and prioritize them according to their threat level, based on factors such as the target's speed, altitude, heading, distance, and weapon system. The radar can also cue the aircraft's self-protection systems, such as chaff, flares, and electronic countermeasures. The Eerie radar is one of the most advanced and versatile AEW and C radars in the world, and it gives the Saab 340 AEW and C a significant edge over its adversaries. The Eerie radar is also adaptable and scalable, and it can be fitted on different platforms, such as the Embraer EMB-145, the Bombardier Global 6000, and the Saab 2000. The Eerie radar is the eye in the sky for the Swedish Air Force and the Royal Thai Air Force, and it will soon be the eye in the sky for the Polish Air Force as well. The Saab 340 AEW and C is a remarkable aircraft and a witness to history. It has been involved in various missions and operations, both domestically and internationally, since its development and production in the late 1980s and early 1990s. The Saab 340 AEW and C was developed due to a Swedish Air Force requirement for a new airborne early warning and control system to replace the aging Saab 340 AEW and C. The prototype of the Saab 340 AEW and C flew in 1994, and the first production aircraft was delivered in 1997. The Swedish Air Force ordered six Saab 340 AEW and C aircraft, four of which were permanently configured as AEW and C platforms, and two could be converted to transport roles in peacetime. The Saab 340 AEW and C entered service with the Swedish Air Force in 1998 and soon demonstrated its capabilities and value in various missions and operations. The Saab 340 AEW and C participated in the NATO led Operation Allied Force in 1999 providing surveillance, command, and control for the Swedish and NATO forces during the Kosovo War. The Saab 340 AEW and C also took part in the NATO-led Operation Unified Protector in 2011, where it supported the enforcement of the no-fly zone and the protection of civilians during the Libyan Civil War. The Saab 340 AEW and C also conducted domestic missions, such as monitoring the airspace over the Baltic Sea and assisting in search and rescue operations. 
The Saab 340 AEWNC has undergone several upgrades and modifications to enhance its performance and functionality over the years. The most notable upgrade was the Saab 340 AEW 300, completed in 2009. The Saab 340AEW300 featured a new mission system, improved radar and communication systems, and increased endurance and payload. The Saab 340AEW300 also had a new designation, the S100D Argus. The Swedish Air Force upgraded two of its Saab 340AEW and C aircraft to the Saab 340AEW300 standard and planned to replace the remaining four with the new Saab 2000AEW and C a larger and more advanced variant based on the Saab 2000 airliner. However, in 2020, the Swedish Air Force decided to order the Saab Global I, a new generation of AEW and C aircraft based on the Bombardier Global 6000 business jet, which will replace both the Saab 340AEW 300 and the Saab 2000 AEW and C by 2025. The Saab 340AEW and C has also been exported to other countries, such as Greece, Thailand, and Poland. Thailand announced its intention to buy two aircraft from the Swedish Air Force in 2007 to enhance its maritime security and border control capabilities. Thailand received the two aircraft in 2012 and named them the FSR-890 Iriai. Thailand uses the Saab 340AEW and C for surveillance, command, and control over the Gulf of Thailand and the Andaman Sea and for supporting its regional and international partners, such as the United States and Australia. Poland purchased two aircraft from the Swedish Air Force in 2020 to supplement its fleet of Boeing E3 Sentry. This US-made AEW and C aircraft uses a rotating radar dome. Poland received its first aircraft in 2020 and the second one in 2021. Poland uses the Saab 340AEW and C for air defense and surveillance over its territory in the Baltic region and for participating in NATO and EU missions and operations. Greece borrowed two aircraft from the Swedish Air Force in 2003 to help the Greek Air Force with its air defense and surveillance needs until the delivery of the Embraer EMB-145 Iriai. This Brazilian-made AEW and C aircraft also uses the Iriai radar system. Greece used the Saab 340AEW and C to monitor the airspace over the Aegean Sea and the Balkans and cooperate with its allies, such as Turkey and Cyprus. Greece returned the two aircraft to Sweden in 2006 after receiving the Embraer EMB-145 Iriai. The United Arab Emirates ordered two aircraft from Saab in 2009 to complement its existing fleet of Boeing E3 Sentry. The United Arab Emirates received the two aircraft in 2010. It used them for air and maritime surveillance, command and control over the Persian Gulf and the Arabian Peninsula, and supporting its coalition partners, such as Saudi Arabia and Bahrain. The United Arab Emirates retired the two aircraft in 2020 after replacing them with the Saab Global I. The Saab 340AEW and C is a remarkable example of how Sweden has developed and deployed a unique and innovative solution for its air defense and surveillance needs, using a small and simple platform with a powerful and versatile radar. It is also a testament to the cooperation and collaboration between Sweden and its allies and partners, who have benefited from the Saab 340AEW and C's capabilities and contributions. The Saab 340AEW and C is a remarkable aircraft that has served the Swedish Air Force and its allies for over two decades. It has proven to be a reliable and versatile AEW and C platform, capable of performing a wide range of missions and operations, both domestically and internationally. It has also been a pioneer and a leader in AESA radar technology, which has become the standard for modern AEW and C systems. The Saab 340AEW and C is a testament to the innovation and excellence of the Swedish aerospace industry. So, that's all for today's episode of Amazing Aircraft. What do you think of the Saab 340AEW and C? Is it a better or worse option than other AEW and C aircraft? Let us know in the comments below, and remember to like, share, and subscribe. The sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning. Thanks for watching, see you next time.